All new at 6 o'clock, demanding more protection for police in the wake of Sergeant Sean Gannon's death. Tonight, the Yarmouth police chief is calling for change to make sure officers are safe out in the field. He has spent the last month guiding his officers through the worst tragedy a department can face. And now he wants to make sure it doesn't happen again. WBZ's Christina Hager has the story. A month after Sean Gannon paid the ultimate sacrifice, the canine officer turned sergeant's cruiser is still parked in its regular spot, as if to remind Yarmouth Chief Frank Fredrickson to stick to his vow. And I vow to do my very best to help. He has a list of demands, starting with funding for police training. Because we are among the lowest funded police agencies in the country for police training. After Gannon's death, the state Senate passed a proposal devoting more money to train police. It's now stalled in a committee. You feel guilty. You feel like I got to prevent it. And I also have to make sure my men and women are getting the services they need to continue their job. Two years ago, Yarmouth spent $40,000 on these fortified bulletproof vests and helmets. Fredrickson says it's something every officer in the state should have, but not all do. He's also demanding criminal justice reforms to keep career criminals like Gannon's accused killer, Thomas Latanowicz, off the streets. This Thursday marks one full month since Sean Gannon was killed, and the very next day, Chief Fredrickson says his full court press begins, demanding more money, better protection for police, and calling out politicians who don't follow through on promises to help. In Yarmouth, Christina Hager, WBC News.